Good evening class. So now that we have uh, installed Jupyter Lab and Matplotlib, let's just go about using Jupyter Lab. How do we go about doing it? So the command is Jupyter hyphen notebook. Enter. So the moment we hit enter, this is some, this is the interface that we see. Now here we have to go to new. This is important. We click on new. Python 3. Great. It looks great, isn't it? So now we are going to learn everything about this interface. First thing that we are going to do is we are going to import. The moment we type the word import, it turns into green and mat plot lip and click on run. So I'm going to highlight every function here. So the moment you see that we are importing something, this uh, will be in a dark black. And then once it is done, it will come to this kind of a color. So what is the star sign for the star sign? Not exactly star, but a plus sign. So this will help us add a new cell. With this, we can keep on adding new cell. So if this is for addition, what is for deletion? The scissor. Great. Now, what is this? Copy selected cell. So if I have this, I copy this here. Right. So what you do is you do this and it gets copied. We will see more examples. So now I don't need this. I want a new cell and I want to type. This is what I was talking um, about in the previous lecture when I said that you will have individual cells in Jupyter Lab. So when I say this, copy and I go ahead and paste. So actually I did it for import matplotlib. Let's just do it for this one. Copy. Paste. Great. So that's done. Now what is this for? I go to this. So if you have uh, many lines of code and I want to uh, go to uh, cell number 10, I use this. Come down like this. Right? So this is all about the cells. Now run. Of course, we know what is the run command for, for running any lines of code. And this is the interrupt the kernel or stop the kernel when we want a a certain uh, when we when we are learning more uh, deep into this programming we will see we, sometimes we need this we need this to stop a program from running continuously what is this for restart the kernel what is this for if you want to run the whole line of course like we saw in the idle environment if you want to run the entire 10,000 lines of uh, code you will go about this one and we will see all this as well as we progress in our class isn't it interesting so let's just say a equals to 5 new cell b equals to 6 sorry b equals to 6 and I want to cut it I use the scissor I cut it and I add C equals to 11. C 
equals to 11. Right? So this is how I go about adding, cutting the selected cell, copying, pasting, using the up arrow to go up and down the lines of code, dragging it down, taking it up, see how C moves upward and A comes downward so I can play around with that, run, stopping the kernel. So this will help you run the previous line of command to run the next line. So that's all about it, a simple explanation about the interface and now we will actually dig into the main programming. So we stop here. Thank you.